up, everybody? Hello, I'm here, and welcome back to Blood and Magic Quest. Now, in between episodes, as you can see, I've been busy. We have iron boots that we found in a chest in a village. I've been exploring. As you can see, we do have iron uh, tools and longsword. Besides that, though, we have been a little bit busy. Yes, we did find all six crystal types that we needed. Not just the empty, but we've been busy. Funny side note. We have three emeralds and no diamonds. We got those in chests. And those are temples and villages. But, oh, I found lava. It's under where I put the snow tree. But let's get started. We're going to need some stuff from out here today. I think this is all we're going to need from out here. I think we need one piece of redstone. Right. Now, let's get busy crafting. I want to jump into this. Now, as you can see, this has uh, 263 available. What that is, is the viz available in this chunk. Here's our chunk boundaries. So that is in this chunk right here. But that is important to know because for those of y'all who remember the old Thongcraft, you got this energy from nodes. Well, now nodes aren't a thing anymore. It's just the this is in in the chunks. Each chunk has a certain amount of this in it. And, well, I'll show you. Let's put this gold in here. We're going to use 20 viz. Now, watch the available. It dropped down 20. It also used up all those crystals. So, 243. Now, give it a minute. It should start building back up. Now, what will happen is, as it builds up, it's supposed to kind of pull from the chunks around it. So we got to be aware of that. Another thing I want we can do right here. Uh, hmm. I think we need more copper. I could be wrong. Could be iron we need more of. Uh, remember, uh, let's try copper first. Because the copper is... The next thing we're building, it actually doesn't have to be built in here. Uh, yes. The atmospheric gauge. This will come in handy for another thing we have to be aware of with chunks. Now, first off. Y'all know how this works. We'll watch. Ah, yeah. If you look in the left, well, it's actually going to be behind my picture. There's a little gauge that shows uh, how much viz is in there. Oh, we got no. Now, any you notice once we scan something, the blue sparklies go away. Shows us what we still have to scan. show you what this does. Let's click here. Let's click here. Look. Observation. We have observation fundamentals, observation aromatic. These points are used for unlocking other things. Now this is one of two types of research in the game. Or in the mod now. Let's complete this because we've completed that. We have now unlocked research complete first step. The strange wonders are being revealed to me, peering through the lens of the thumbometer shows me a world coursing with magic viz 
as the book calls it. Normally this energy is a pure ocean of magic that ebbs and flows, but it also permeates all things, both anime, animate and inanimate. The book calls Viz in this state Essentia, where Viz is formless and pure. Essentia is more rigid in its nature and falls into a multitude of clearly defined types, each mixed together with others to form a greater and more complex type of essentia. That's where the other crystals are going to come in. Hand, come in. I'm not quite sure if the matter is bound to gives essentia its nature or that the very nature of matter depends on essentia on the essentia it contains. This bears further study. I'm I am keeping a log of all the types of essentia I have discovered. A bookmark on the left will show my current knowledge. For now, I need to focus my energies elsewhere. Studying essentia may be a good place to start. Here's what we've discovered. Now these, like, this one is made up of this and something else. We haven't discovered them yet. This one's a primal one. It's one of the six base ones. Now, we've unlocked this. We also have this over here, which I want to unlock this real quick. We need a scribing tool. So, oh, it's nighttime. Before we sleep. Oh, we can't do anything with it yet. Okay. I'll go ahead and put it in my offhand and use it. That's cool! Yes, I did have to look up uh, how to pull up the debug thing. Okay. Now, let's see. Now, eventually, I am going to have to come through here and scan everything. But I'm not going to make y'all watch me do that. Because that would be really, really boring. We need some glass of a special type. Well, we just actually need the glass and we're going to use clay with it. But. Now, let me show you what this other thing does. Now, this is something we're going to be getting into later. Uh, see the little thing in the middle of the screen? That is the gauge that we have in our hands. Let's walk chunk to chunk. Was that? Okay. Now, you see that little needle moving? And one of the other mods we have on here called Embers, which some of y'all may remember from the quest. Um, each chunk has a certain amount of ember energy. Scan that. And the ember energy is used for powering the ember mod. So we're going to have to get around to that. Now let's do this, this. Before we do that, we we'll just scan things. Hopefully, it did something for us. Look, glass bottles. Glass bottles isn't really what we need, though. Mm, nothing can be learned from this. Okay. All right. What we need is this glass flowers. Need one for now. Can we scan the rest of them. There. Now we need two other items. Ah, an ink sack and a chicken feather. For those of y'all who are familiar with Minecraft, you know scan, or for those of y'all familiar with Thomcraft, actually, you know scan all the things. So you unlock something there. Alright. Now what we need to do here is we need to make describing tool because I want to show you the other form of research we can do. Now we, need, we need a table. Wood table. Okay. Cool. There. Uh, let's grab those. Now, 
Now, for those of y'all who have seen the thom old versions of Thomcraft mod, you may recognize the table. Used to, though, you needed two of them for what I'm about to do. Now you only need one. So that's really freaking cool, in my opinion. Yeah, by the way. Oh, we have a new table. Create theories, some light bulbs, and our scribing tool. And a little spot looks like it's for paper, which it is. Let's go get some paper. Do we have any already? Got some sugar cane, though. Not to worry, we have more planted. this into paper. Put a piece on the ground. I do want to show you all this. This is the other type of research that I will do mostly off camera because it's not that interesting, but I'll show you here. You click, you put paper in it with the scribing tool. You click create theory. These six light bulbs are important. So we have a question mark here. We click it. Experimentation. You perform some random experiments to see if something could be discovered. You gain 10 to 25 progress in a completely random category. It's going to cost us a light bulb to take this. Let's take it. Let's see if I can get rid of that. Ah! You know what? I don't know how it is. Ha ha! There we go. You see, it gave us 16% in arcane infusion. Alright, well, let's see what the next one, because we got to use all light bulbs. <clears throat> this actually can get complicated later. Alright, now we have two choices. We can reject arcane infusion. Uh, to become, You come to realize that arcane infusion is not vital to your current research. You will not gain any more progress in arcane infusion or draw any cards related to it. You will not lose your current progress. Okay. Or we ponder, which is going to cost us two light bulbs, but you carefully consider all you've learned so far, gaining 25 progress divided evenly between all current active categories and a bonus draw. I have one category over here, so I think we're going to go with this. Oh yeah, 28% there. And now we have this. We can ponder again, we can reject it, or we can rethink. We take a step back and reassess your findings. You get rid of invalid conclusions and proceed with fresh understanding. Lose 10 progress divided evenly between all currents, so we'd lose 10. Or we can gain another 25. Let's do that. Right. Well, the book itself is also getting it, so 42 and 40. This ain't bad though. Now, we can either reject one of them. Universal theory, a moment of relevation, shows you the common links between all you have been studying. Your total progress is split evenly among all currently revealed and valid categories, and an additional category will gain the full bonus upon completion or experimentation. Another 25, 10 to 25. I want to see what universal theory does. Okay, now, we need to get these up to 100%. So what we do is we complete our theory. Let me show you. Complete that too. Blah, blah, blah. Pretty much just explains everything I told you, but look. Now we have these. Theories. Our observations and our theories. And look, they're getting closer. Let's do another one. Experimentation. Let's see. I don't want to reject fundamental. We do universal theory. Experimentation. Universal theory. Balance it out a little bit. Inspired. Inspired by the progress you've made so far, your mind 
the Lord's paths that have not you have not considered before. You gain twenty-five fundamental. fundamentals which opens celestial observations we've already got this so we can complete it I have noticed a link between the phases of the moon and the speed at which the aura replenishes itself I should investigate the phenomenon further and even expand my investigation to see if other heavenly bodies influence magic a few minor tweaks to my thermometer should enable to make measurements of objects in the sky. I should remember to carry some paper and scribing tool with me so I can take notes. Measuring the same body or quadrant of the sky more than once a day will not give me new insights. I need to study them over time and measure changes in their boreal influence. The notes I gather should come in handy for thumb grab. So what we need to do is grab paper and scribing tool. Walk outside. And we can do this with the sun. I'm already looking through this thing at everything. Uh, where's the sun at? I don't see the sun. Sure. Huh. Oh, there's the sun. Over there's one. Ooh, we got a celestial note. Solar. Okay. The rest of this, yeah, we gotta wait till night time. But this will come in handy. Actually, with this in here. Scribing tool. Give me a pipe high. Now there is a chance that it's probably gonna be later on that it asks for this stuff. Experimentation. We'll do a little bit more. Ponder, ponder, ah, uh, we need a lunar full and a lunar waiting to get this one, but this one would give us a lot, we'd gain 25 to 50 inspiration towards fundamental, we don't have those, that can come up again later, we'll do this, since I am going to be doing most of these off camera though, don't worry, uh, Ponder, I like pondering. I like pondering. I'll throw an experimentation into there, complete the theory. Let's see if I can get a couple more points in something. That's a good one. Okay, experiment. Ponder. Eastern quadrant. Eastern quadrant. Yep. get the phases of the moon as well. Probably be best to wait till like midnight. Right now. Oh, okay. Cool, cool. I'm going to leave it on this because I do want this one. But we can actually go this way in things too. Uh, brewing simple potions has its uses but true alchemical interaction requires more than mixing a few monster parts together. I think Essentia holds the key 
to much more sophisticated way of manipulating matter. I should try to learn more about alchemy and how it fits into mag the magical world. Armed with that knowledge and a little bit of inspiration, I am sure thermetic alchemy will be within my grasp. Let's complete that. So now we have this. Re my recent discoveries have given me a new insight into the world and to how the world is put together. And I think I may know a way to transform matter in by altering its essentia. This will require experimentation and something to hold the alchemical substance in. A simple brewing stand will not do. What I need is a mystical crucible. A cauldron is the right shape and size, but what is but what is effectively a big metal bowl will never be able to hold the magical energies I wish to manipulate. Once again, applying some Salus Mundus to a cauldron should resolve my problems. So let's do that. Some iron right here, we'll take some of it. Now yes, I know, my inventory is getting a little bit cluttered, that is okay. Now I need something to experiment with, and I happen to have the perfect thing. I have spent many uh, late nights studying thermaturgy, and flickering torchlight is not the best thing to read by. A steady magical light is exactly what I need. Glowstone is a steady source of light, but I require a large handful of it for a light source and it lacks style. I am sure I can alter it into something better. The crucible needs to be placed over a source of heat and filled with water once the water is boiling. Blah, blah, blah. I need to put a supply of water in it and I need a heat source under it, but I need glowstone. Unlocked this. Uh, visit the lowest depths of the world and the high, find the highest peak. That's going to be fun. And we've, ooh, we've completed discovering infusion. Let's complete this. And what do we got? Ooh, armor. That's something we need.
do. First off, let's uh, dump this stuff up here. Also do have these tabs over here which currently not super great but they are some stuff we can do with alchemy and arcane infusion which we will get to eventually Looks like it might be. and see how it looks. Up our durability. No, it actually downs it. So we'll hold that in there. We'll just have to deal with this uh, greatly reduced durability. And be careful. stuff while we're going down.
better on lava. I'll leave that water there for now. We're much better on obsidian at least. That's like enough to keep us repaired, enough to keep us in obsidian for a little bit at least. Now this is actually good for two things now because we we do need to go to the nether and we need to make some armor, like a full set of armor. Uh, we haven't found diamonds yet, as I said, but, okay, I'll put this portal over here. and annoying and all that good stuff Takes a little bit of preparation to get ready for the nether. And we're actually going with a lot less than I'd like to have. But we need stuffs. So. YOLO. Come on. But actually, you know, Lola, YOLO doesn't really fit in Minecraft because you don't only live once in Minecraft. scan the portal itself. Yes. Let's go drop this iron off. obsidian tools by the way. They're so awesome. And we gotta wait for that to smell. Yes, better damage. Obsidian takes so long to smell down. <coughs> now literally we need one thing of glowstone right now and one thing of nether rack. So I assume the rack is going to be easy enough to get. Glowstone maybe not. Probably should take some stuff with us to build with. Not obsidian.
Take me to the nether. scary happens. Always a possibility in the nether. Get me home, get me home, get me home, get me home. There we go. Our scribing tool and paper. Hope that was enough. Got the moon phase that time. Awesome. Right, we are horribly low on paper. We know we need these. Right. Uh, that, that. All right, everything else is going to kind of stay with us right now. Paper. Look at that, 93% right there. Now, oh, we don't have this yet, but we can do this one. Or no, we can't. That's victorious. All right, we'll have to wait till we can do that. Let's sleep real quick. We'll set up this uh, crucible outside where it's safe to have fire. I don't want to burn my house down. Uh, go right there. Perfect spot. being there is fine. It's not going to matter. Now, we got to wait and let this bubble. You see the difference in uh, on the gauge of where we're at? We actually built in a really good jump. He's part of one. Okay, now we need certain essences. This. We need 
fire, light, and potentia. There's 10 and 10. For those, light. Torches and a glowstone. So what else I want to do is I want to double this recipe, and you'll see why. And we want to take some of this quartz and turn it into quartz slivers. drop it in like that or throw it in like that. Now we have this. Scan it. I want two of them though. So we can't see what's in here. It's okay though. Go one, two, one. Right, we got two of them. Now for the quartz crystals. There's not enough in it. Okay. Look, we got crystals. We got potentia and we got ignis. So this is a way uh, that was not in the old version of Minecraft for how we can craft these crystals. So if we can find something that has Victius in it, we can actually make the crystal we need. So we'll do everything we have. That may be what we need. show you something. See that dark purple at the top of the gauge? That is flux building up in here. Look at this. We got two Victius and, and three Externomaeus and ten Cognito Crystals. one of these to do this one. Often much can be learned by concentrating a substance into its purest form. Attempt to concentrate some Victus, gain, essentially gain 15 alchemy and one bonus draw. There is also a chance you will gain one inspiration. So this has a chance of giving us another eye, or another light bulb. Theory and Let's go here. look, we unlocked more stuff over here. Alchemical metallurgy. Alright. We will be getting into this next time because this is all the time I have for recording, but sneak peek at what we'll be getting into. Hedge Alchemy. We're going to make Magic Towel. Iumentum. We already have completed this. Which gives us a recipe for Iumentum, which is a... If I remember right, it's a good furnace fuel. It's like stronger and coal, but it's like one-time use, so it's not that great of close to that. About this. We can do this one. Arcane stones have no innate magical properties of its own, but acts as a spell sponge of sorts. It should be able to add all manner of enchantment to it. So 
Now we have paved, barrier stones and paving stones. And these barrier stones are going to come in handy. A little bit of expensive, but good return on it. Alright, I do want to thank everybody for watching. If you like what you see on the channel, go ahead and hit that like button down below. If you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and notification bell. Uh, in between episodes, I am going to search for a place for a big base, a place that has a lot of this, and a place that has a lot of embers, preferably. But, but if I can't find one that has a lot of viz, that also has a lot of embers, I'll go with the viz. Go over embers at this point. As always, I do want to thank everybody for watching. 